You might be wondering, why is the screen so zoomed in onto Morgan's face? That's really weird. Oh, it's slowly moving out. What I'm trying to do is give you the impression that my Bronte sweater is going well, when in fact it isn't going very well. But Morgan, it looks so good. You wait. Can I do this? This kind of thing appears. And you want to know why? Because my floats are way too long. And you want to know something else? In a minute, you'll see these ripples. Maybe you see them now. I increased way too much and the sweater is just too big. This is the third time that I have attempted this portion of the sweater. And I'm starting to think that fate is telling me to start over. Bronte sweater. It could be going better. I'll get there. I have a couple ideas on how to fix it. Um, She's never gonna finish that sweater. Rude! Don't listen to her. She's just cranky because she wants her own version of her namesake sweater. So, and she's cold basically all the time. That's true. What you gonna do? Okay, so in this podcast, I want to... Is it a podcast? Is it a vlog? I don't know. My husband made a comment that vlog is kind of an antiquated word, but a vlog is what it is. It's a video blog, so I'm going to call it whatever I want. Maybe I'll resurrect the word. So in this vlog, I'm going to talk to you about my favorite, favorite planning tool, and it's called the Passion Planner. So a Passion Planner is awesome. It is what it sounds like. It's a planner. Um, they have three different versions. They have the dated, they have the undated, and they have the academic. So the passion planner that I used this year is an undated black um, large sized planner. And I bought a bunch of stickers and I even found one with my initials on it, which was really cool. And I put the stickers on the back and I collect them over the year and I and then if I have one that's like too big, I'll put it on the back of my planner, like on the inside of the back of my planner. So I first and foremost love this planner. I think it's amazing. And I was insanely inspired about a week ago when I just binge watched all of the passion planner inspiration videos on how their employees use their passion planners. And they even showed you their passion planners, you guys. If I can figure it out, I'll try and put a link right here where my hand is. Hopefully this isn't weird. Hopefully you can click on it and then hit pause, hit watch later, come back to my video. They show you so many great tips on how to use your passion planner and I love it. First and foremost, the tip that I learned that is most handy is not this Sharpie. Where? Where did you go? There we are. She was sitting on it. Is this pen right here. This is a four colored pen and it is awesome. So what they do is they take the four different colors and they assign them to certain parts of their life. So for me, blue, business, green, personal life and growth, black, uh, permanent plans and necessary tasks. So like the impending things that are gonna happen whether I want them to or not, like grocery shopping and having to make dinner. Red means ministry, which means uh, anything church related. So here is this week, right? Today's the 22nd. You see a lot of blue going on here because I do this full time. And uh, right here is space of infinite possibility, which I'm actually using effectively right now because at the beginning of the year, my space of infinite possibility was literally just like a bunch of doodles. Like I would doodle, and then I would doodle, and then I would doodle. I was not really using it properly. Look, here's a doodle of me with teeth. So shiny. So they have like a weekly schedule that you can write in, and you've got a personal to-do list, a work to-do list, 
And then this part is usually blank. Let me show you. Ta-da! And then at the beginning of the planner, see these are all weekly stuff, is month to month. Boop. And so you can, it's like a big calendar. You can just plan things out. And then you go to the week by week, and then you can uh, make more isolated uh, goals on how you're gonna accomplish your bigger goals. So essentially the passion planner is made for you to make these ginormous goals and then break them down into more manageable pieces. So if you've ever heard the phrase, uh, what is it? If you wanna eat an elephant, you can you have to do it one bite at a time it makes eating an elephant sound more manageable which is kind of a funny phrase i don't think i would ever want to eat an elephant but um over here i have my new 2020 passion planner and i love it so i'm going to show you the differences and then i'm going to show you um just what I've put in my 2020 planner so far because I am such a planner that I've already started working on my 2020 goals and uh, trying to map out things so that my goals next year are uh, super duper easy and all I have to do is wake up, open my planner and be like, ah, that's what I'm working on today. So let's see. The differences that I've noticed so far is mostly just a change in font. Um, their font is a little more bold and shorter. It's still all caps, um, but you know what? I have a feeling that they changed it because the shorter one is easier to read. And I have experience with this because in my patterns, I used to do an all caps tall font and I would get comments all the time saying, hey, you should consider changing your font. It's kind of hard to read. And then when I finally changed my font, I was flooded with messages like, thanks for changing the font. I can read it now. And I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, if I had known that there were this many people. Anyway, so that's why I think that they changed it. And um, 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 what else? Uh, the grid is a little different in the back. So in the back, what they do is they give you some blank pages and then some gridded pages. And uh, the grid in the new one is actually dots, like a bullet journal, which is really, really cool. Um, and I really like that because that gives you a lot more options. So the way that I use my planner, because this is my third planner, 2020 is my third one. I don't know where the one went before this one. I think that was like two years ago. I think I went a year without planning, you guys. <laughs> so this is my planner for last year. Um, right here are all of my house goals, just pictures that um, would inspire me to work harder. Like if I want these things, I'm gonna have to work hard for them, which makes all the stuff that I put in my day-to-day, -day, my weekly, my monthly plans, it gives them more of a, um, a purpose. And that's nice. It's nice to have purpose. It's nice to have um, a reason to go after your, your work. So here are some container houses right in here. I love shipping container houses so much. All right, and then over here we have my fashion goals and then we have my business goals. And uh, here is a blog post that Joanne Fabrics did. And I was like, man, I wanna be a blogger. This doesn't look too hard. I would love to make stuff like this. And you know what I do now? I have a blog and I blog stuff. And I make pretty images like this and it's really, really fun. And I'm convinced that the reason that I actually got around to doing that is because I put this small little picture in my planner. I would flip through these pages every once in a while and I would see it and then the back of my head would say, hey, you want a blog, remember? And then here are some uh, Instagram goals that I had. I wanted to do monthly blog posts, monthly contests, which I'm doing. I haven't done any free patterns yet, but that is uh, on the back burner. I plan on doing free patterns in 2020. And then uh, yarn brand sponsorships, customer content, interviews, and external content. So what I did was I just took a screenshot of my Instagram at that moment, and then whited it all out, and then erased a few spots, and then just typed in everything that I wanted to accomplish. And of course you may recognize um, Two of Wands, she's amazing. And you should go follow her, Two of Wands. 
And then here are some fitness goals. And then we wanted to get a new car. We did not get a Subaru Crosstrek. We got a RAV4 instead. And then here's some more personal goals. And then with the white pages, I actually used it for like brainstorming and uh, like coming up with the new sweater ideas and just writing down things. Um, so this actually is one of the most important pages of my planner and it's in the back and it's called priorities, projects, and whips. And in it, I've written down one, two, three, all the way through eight. And then I use sticky notes to swap out my priorities and my projects and my whips. And so this way, you know, let's say that I work a little bit more on this sweater pattern. You know, I sent it to testers. It's, pardon me, it's less of a priority right now. Excuse me. Because it's been sent to my testers. I can't really work on it anymore, which means now my trade with my friend is now top priority. I need to finish that hat. I need to ship it to her and I'll be good to go. Which actually, this is an old goal accomplished. Yes. Um, actually, that is very important. And that is number one. I shall not move that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I love this. I actually have never seen anyone do this before. This really works for me. And I've actually continued this method into the next page. So here are some like back burner stuff, like other things that aren't on that page yet. And then here's a blog post checklist. And I like using sticky notes because I can uh, take them off, throw them away. And then I can actually make this page white again if I just remove all of them. You know, there's no permanence in using sticky notes. Notch. Which I actually, I actually came up with that plan um, because I was running out of white pages and I had to get creative. So, but then here's some blog post ideas. And then like when I make one, I can take it off, crumple it, throw it away. And for me, like if I have a space that's constantly refreshed and I can, you know, constantly put in new goals, new ideas, I will accomplish way more than a space that just has a long list of the things that I've already accomplished because then I'll be like, oh, I've done enough this year and I'll get lazy. So if I have a space that doesn't really remind me of how much I've made this year, I'm gonna be hungry to make more content. And that's the way that I operate. I think, yes, that's that's the last of the fun stuff. So now I'm gonna show you what my new passion planner looks like so far, because yeah, it's October, but I'm such a planner that I already have stuff in here and I'm ready to start making goals for 2020. Ready? Okay, so in the back, like I said, is my vision board, basically. Bronte, shut up! And so this last year, as I showed you in my first vlog, I did a show with my friend Vincent called Knit Meets Not, and it was so much fun, and I would love to do season two. So I just, I put a picture up there, Hopefully everything that I put my mind towards in the next like five or six months will uh, get me up to this point to do season two. Hopefully they'll see more content and be like, you know what? We should give those kids another season. We love them, right? <laughs> and then um, here is another one of those uh, screenshotted what my page looks like. And then I wrote down all the things that I want to accomplish in my Instagram. And then I want to do a kit, so that's just a little screenshot of a kit I saw online. And then this is another image from Knit Meets Not. Um, here's some more like blog post ideas, pattern ideas. I really want to design a sock, even though I've only ever made three. Yeah, three. <laughs> the fourth one's coming. <laughs> and then right here are some fashion goals. Um, sometimes I just need to remind myself to keep my hair short because I will get so busy that I'll forget to cut it and then I'll be like, nah, this length is fine. And then it gets all the way down to my back and then I'm like, oh, well that happened. And I really like the way that my hair looks short, so that's my little reminder. But here's some outfit inspiration. And then I'm gonna write down like probably some small things right here, like some keywords, like boots, I don't know. 
And then here are some more house goals. I'll probably write some keywords in this space because I couldn't find pictures that would fit there. Um, but what I actually do is I will take these pictures from Pinterest and I will clip them all into like a five by seven space. I'll get them all printed out and then I'll cut them apart so that I can get more pictures per printout. Cause I'm a cheapskate, yeah. Just kidding, I don't wanna keep calling myself a cheapskate. No one likes that. <laughs> but yeah, and then here's some more pictures of some house goals. Because like I said, like if, if I have an idea of all the things that I want, it's gonna make doing my day-to-day -day tasks a lot easier because I know what I'm doing it for, you know? Um, that's it so far, but having this um, dotted grid type thing is really, really great because it makes it very, very easy to add these pictures and have them all have even spacing, which for a pretty uh, anal retentive person like me, that really works for me. Um, I haven't put any goals or anything in the logistics part of it yet, but I'm excited to. And I'm really grateful that I got the dated one because I had this habit of putting in the wrong dates per <laughs> for the big month one. And then I'd have to white it out and uh, try again. And it was really, really frustrating. Oh, maybe I didn't do it this year. Maybe I have learned. But I had a planner in the past where I literally wrote down the entire month, every single one, two, three on every day. And then I looked at it and I realized that I was looking at the wrong month. And so I had written the wrong number for each day and had to take white out and white it all out. And you know what happened? I wrote it in again and the same thing happened and I had to white it out again. And it was the most horrifying thing for a detail oriented person to like rub my hands across it and feel like the bumpy white out blobs of my failure whenever I looked at that month. And then when that month was finally done, I was like, ah, get out of here. I'm done with you, December. <laughs> so, yeah. So this is my passion planner. I love it. And the only issue that I have with the 2020 version of the passion planner is that stickers do not stick to this. Somehow this material, it's kind of a mat. It makes a nice sound rather than this, which is a, I don't know, maybe it makes the, it's a duller sound. So stickers stick very well to this, but not really to this. And I'm willing to accept that trade-off because this is way prettier than this guy. Cause I could have ordered this one and I could have been able to put stickers on it. But I think that if I had known before I ordered that stickers wouldn't stick to this, I would have still chosen this one because I think it's really, really pretty. And they donate money to an organization called Pencils of Promise, which donates, I believe, uh, school supplies and money and stuff um, for kids for their learning. And I think that that's incredible. And it's yellow, like a pencil. Do you have to puke every time I do a vlog? Yep. It's so gross. <laughs> well, I guess that's my second vlog. <laughs> vlog. Do you want to see a trick that she does? Okay, watch. Sit. Okay. Shake. Spin. Good job. <laughs> I'll give her a treat later, I promise. All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe if you want to. Don't if you don't. What? And we'll see you later.